Bottom of page 81, exercise 2-4 says, presented below is information related to our real estate agency. Three transactions there and then three more at the top of the next page. Prepare the debit credit analysis for each transaction as illustrated in the textbook. Doesn't really turn me on a lot. Would be good to practice on your own. Would be good to know. So I'm skipping down to exercise 2-5 and continuing to read. Transaction data for our real estate agency are presented in 2-4, which we just read. Instructions, ooh, I like these. Journalize the transactions. You may omit explanations. Did you write explanations in 2-1-B, hands above your head? Good, thank you very much. Are you planning to write explanations in the next assignment, 2-2-B? No. 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 You're forgiven for that for the rest of the year. Would you instead skip lines between your journal entries? When you've made a complete entry, skip a line, leave one blank and write another entry. It helps you see them better, it helps us see them better, and it's our tradition. That's the way we write them down. At the bottom of page 81, it says, here's some information, October 1st, Devin, begins a business as a real estate agent with a cash investment of $15,000. let us glance back. In my attempt to connect this week with last, I would like you to say the accounting equation for me right this minute. Go. Assets equals liabilities plus some equity. I would like one of you to think about this transaction, Devin invested in the business, and tell me how that transaction would affect the accounting equation, may I have a volunteer? Are you Josh? Yes. Go. Uh, an increase in assets and an increase in owner's equity. Increase assets, increase owner's equity, and write a comment. Yeah, but I'm just, yeah. So which asset increased, Josh? And owner's equity increased because of investment, you said. What I'd like to do is hear a new volunteer take this information and make me a journal entry. Ryan, what entry are you going to make for oh. owner investing in the business? All right, so my first one would be cash, and the debit would increase by 15000 My next entry would be owner's capital, and that would, its credit would increase by 15000 Good. Real good. We need to know the specific name of this account. I'm not willing to give up this tradition. I'm asking you not to call it owner's capital in your homework. It's okay for today. In the future, would you fall back into the illustration that I'm going to show you? It is debit cash and credit the owner's capital account, which would traditionally be named the owner's name, comma, the exact name of the account is the owner's name, comma, capital. Instead of using the illustration in the book, let's call it the owner's name, comma, capital. May I count on you to do that? So Ryan says, debit cash, credit capital. Now when you're writing it down, we're going to use the exact name of the account. When we're talking, we can call it capital, nickname it, call it some other name, and all know what we're talking about. And Ryan answered most of my follow-up questions already, but I'm going to ask them anyway. All right. Hey, Ryan, what happened to cash when you debited it? It increased. And he said it in a way that I heard it, but some of your answers sound like creased. So since increase and decrease are real important and are going to be asked a lot, would you try to enunciate enough that we all could hear increased or decreased and make sure that we are in one accord about what's happening here, okay? He said increased. What is the normal balance of cash? Debit. 
What is it? Asset, liability, capital, revenue, or expense? Well, can you repeat the question? What is cash? An asset, oh, liability, an asset. capital, revenue, or expense? It's an asset. It's an asset. What happened to capital when you credited it? It increased as well. Because its normal balance is? Credit. And its classification, asset liability? Owner, owner's equity. Owner's equity, or you could say capital. Capital is capital. Right. Yes? Yeah. Good. Real good. Now, what's going to happen is, A, I'm hoping that you'll all answer all the questions I ask. I'm hoping, B, that a lot of you will volunteer. You're going to find out that you learn more when you volunteer more when you get to recite. And C, that you answer every question to yourself. Was that A? <laughs> Must be important. You ought to be answering every question to yourself every time. Practicing, learning, finding where your weaknesses are, turning weaknesses into strengths. And I'm gonna ask you more questions about each of these as we go along. Now tell me, Ryan, did you accomplish what Josh accomplished? Yes. It's the same thing. Yep. Increase assets, increase capital. Increase assets, increase capital. It's just a different way to write it down. Two, hires an administrative assistant. I need a volunteer. Talk to me, Shelby. Nothing happens. Oh, but it says something did happen. We hired an administrative no. assistant. No. Debit? No. So it says right here, journalize the transactions. Credit? No. <laughs> Nothing? Don't you think this administrative assistant is pretty happy about it getting hired? Yes or no? Probably. I think that's pretty significant. Don't you think the boss is happy because we have a new employee that's going to help the boss? Mm -hmm. Let's write it down. Debit? <laughs> um, not sure. Oh, we've gone from no entry to not sure. I'm making progress. <laughs> Why did you think no entry would be made? Because no, there's no transactions involved. Why would the book do this is what I want to know. Why would the book ask us such a blatant trick question? Maybe, I don't know, I honestly don't know, but maybe they're pushing us to have this conversation that in chapter one in the lecture we talked about some definitions and terms and one of them was business transactions. Maybe the point is to realize what's a transaction and what isn't. And Shelby thinks this one isn't. Who agrees with Shelby? I want to know, Shelby, where you learned that. From a lab assistant? From my brain. From your brain? <laughs> <laughs> From the book? Um, From actually, reading the chapter? Yeah, chapter one, it says, like, on one of the pages, that if you hire somebody, isn't a transaction because. Oh, who learned it in lab? Hands up. From a lab assistant. A couple of people. Most of the rest of you learned it in the book, apparently? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So Shelby, are we going to write no entry on this line? You need to write something, but I don't know what it is. Want to get those back doors for me, please, to row captains? Shelby, are we going to write no entry right here? No, we are not. No, just leave it blank. <laughs> it sure, it sure looks like we're going to write it here, doesn't it? <laughs> but we're not. It's just a placeholder. Are, are we going to walk around all day long writing down no entry? Oops, I tripped. Oh, I took a breath. Oh, I sneezed. Are we going to write down no entry when no entry happens? We're going to fill these pages and pages and pages in the journal of no entry, no entry, no entry. No, we're not even going to write that. Okay? Now the crux of the issue is something shall be used at the end of our conversation to convince me. Why do you suppose that 
this is not an entry, shall we? Because the answer I'm going, I, for lack of better words, no cash is involved. Yeah. A cash doesn't have to be involved in entry, but I think what you're hinting at is what I'm kind of trying to fish out of you. It's, it, it, there's no measurement yet. There is no way to value this entry. One of the things that we talked about in the definition of a transaction was it was an event, an occurrence that could be written down, that happened, it was significant, we should write it down, and it was in monetary terms. Where's the measurement here? Where's the value? At what amount would we write it if we did? So I think that's the sort of condensing thing that suggests something important happened. It's just not written down yet. Three, purchased office furniture on account. I'm looking for a new volunteer. Help me, Shelby. Um, so that would be, that would be a uh, credit to something. To equipment and and owner's equity. Let's try it in terms of the accounting equation. Yeah. Shelby, would you help me with this one? Yeah. Purchased office equipment on account affected the accounting equation how? Um, plus in assets. Increase assets and, and increase owner's equity. Increase owner's equity is incorrect. Let's think about okay. that one more time. What's that on account part? We got uh, to take the equipment home with us. Did we give them any money? Yeah. We did not. Oh, uh, wait. We got the equipment uh, based on of credit. our promise to pay them. Yeah. Now, where does our promise to pay them fit the accounting equation? On the way with credit. That is not owner's equity. Owner's equity is investment by the owner or that list of four things that we talked about last week investments, withdrawals, revenue, and expense. This is none of those. We got to take the equipment home, and we didn't pay for it. It's on our account. It's on account. Translate that to the accounting equation for me. Like, um, Where does the fact that we owe them for it fit in the accounting equation? Uh, um, accounts payable? Yeah, where does that fit in the accounting equation? Liability. That's a liability. And this liability increased or decreased? Uh, we now owe more than we did before. Does this work mathematically? Increase assets, increase liabilities, yes or no? Yes. yes. Now Shelby, you and I need to translate last week's way to write that down into this week's. Okay. We want to increase an asset and increase a liability. How are we going to do it? Debit something and credit something you choose. All right. Um, we're going to credit credit one or yeah nineteen hundred and and uh, debit something for nineteen hundred yeah but it's the account names that I was shopping for oh okay um furniture is it furniture I'll take that is it debit or a credit it is a credit to increase that account or to decrease that account? To decrease that account. What you just described as furniture, I'm going to call equipment. Okay. Or office equipment. Right. I think the book called it equipment. I happen to have office equipment on the screen. And I want to know, when we went to the store shopping and decided to buy this and decided not to pay for it now but later, whether we now have more equipment or less equipment than we did before. Yeah, more. Do I want to increase equipment or decrease equipment? Mm -hmm. How do you increase equipment? Uh, a minute ago you said credit it to decrease it and now I'm all confused. And I have a tie score. <laughs> Would you break that tie for me please? Right. What happened to equipment? Equipment increased. Debited or credited? Debited. We're going to debit equipment. <laughs> I'm looking for something to credit. When I can decide on one of these, I'm more than halfway there. All what right. are we going to credit? We're going to credit, um, shall I say, uh, liabilities? That'd be a general category. Okay. But what we're doing is making specific account names so we'll know where to post. Okay, accounts payable. Accounts payable is the name of this account. Let's talk about it. Debit office equipment or equipment.
credit accounts payable for $1,900. You've already told me that when you debited equipment, it increased or decreased? It increased. What happened to accounts payable when you credited it? Is that the same thing that this said? Yes. No? Uh, you told me to increase uh, accounts payable uh, yeah. there. What happened to accounts payable when you credited it? It's now, I just led you in the wrong way. I got you to the right answer, but I don't like the way I got you there. Okay. Because I had you look at this, and in real life, we're not going to do this and this. That's double work. The question is, could we have figured out what you said was wrong based on this? Yes. We went to the store, they let us take home the equipment, and we now owe more or less than we did before this transaction. We owe more. We want to increase accounts payable. What is accounts payable? Asset liability, capital revenue expense? What is the normal balance of a liability, debit or credit? It is. If you credit an account with a credit balance, what will it do to that account? Increase it or decrease it? Good. Are you with me right now? Are you with me right now? Yes or no? Now, I'm not quite through with you. What, pick on me? Uh-huh. Right. You volunteered. I, I, I may. I like it. I, I like it, too. I like the way you're handling it. All right. So listen to this. We need to know on which financial statement accounts appear. And I want to know whether these two appear on the balance sheet or the income statement. Let's take them one at a time. Office equipment goes on the balance sheet or the income statement? Balance sheet. Did you guess? No, I didn't. You know that? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> then you guess. One of those guys right. right, did I? <laughs> you did, but you got lucky. <laughs> would you like to know? I would like to know. All right, let's do this one. Accounts payable goes on the balance sheet or the income statement? I'm going to guess again. What? It's going to go the opposite one. And say? Income statement. All right, let's talk about it. <laughs> there are five kinds of accounts. Assets, liabilities, capital, revenue, and expense. And I'll always say them in that order. And you should be able to say them soon. I didn't ask you to memorize them. I ask, you, I ask you to experience them and know them. Some go on the balance sheet. Some go on the income statement. I'm calling on Shelby, but what if I called on you? How would you answer these questions? First of all, do you know? I asked him that question and he admitted he didn't, and he's about to. And you're about to benefit from that too, but I'm just asking the rhetorical question. Do you know on which financial statement they go? Listen. When you don't know, then I ask, can you say the accounting equation? Shelby, can you yes. say it? Assets equals liability plus home adjustment. They all go on the same financial statement. Do you know which one it is? Uh, I believe so. This is either balance sheet or income statement. Which is it? Balance sheet. That is correct. These go on the balance sheet, which leaves these to go on the income statement. Name these. Um, what goes on the income statement? Uh, table. Goes on the balance sheet. Oh, okay. Um, Shelby wants to use a lifeline. I need somebody to help me getting past this point. What goes on the income statement? Alan. You're not Alan. Are you David? Yeah. David. Revenue and expense. Revenue and expense go on the income statement. Asset liability and owner's equity goes on the balance sheet. Revenue and expense goes on the income statement. If you can remember that, you know what goes on both financial statements. Are y'all with me or not? Yes, Shelby? Here we go. All right. Office equipment is an asset liability capital revenue expense. That is a liability. It is not. I mean, you know what? <laughs> if you're trying to blame that on me, it's not gonna, that money's not riding on my back. I just ask you a simple question that you have answered correctly today. All Office right. equipment is an asset, liability, capital, revenue, or expense. Oh, sorry, I got confused. It's an asset. It's an asset. Therefore, it goes on the. It goes on the balance sheet. Good. Real good. You didn't guess that time, did you? I did not. <laughs> Accounts payable goes on the balance sheet or the income statement? Balance sheet comes the liability. Thank you. 
I love that confidence. <laughs> I told you I was going to get you to see those. Are you going to remember it forever? Yeah, because you picked on me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 volunteer. This is the last. Was that last thing the last thing I was going to ask him? Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> I hope I didn't. Because I got one more thing I'm going to ask you. This might be the last thing. Okay. What happened to capital when you made this entry? Increase, uh, decrease? Capital increased. What happened to capital when you made this entry, David? Nothing. Because I do know What thing. happened to capital when you <laughs> made this entry, David, right behind you? I got two Davids right here. Yep. A Shelby and a Shelby. <laughs> I had a Matthew and a Matthew. That Matt's not here today. Where's the other Matthew? Right here. There's the other Matthew. Uh, th this, class, this must be Noah's Ark or something. <laughs> 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 Coming in pairs. <laughs> David, do you remember the question? Second, third row, David? Uh, nothing. I know why. I got it. The question is, Shelby, <laughs> what happened to Capital when you made this entry? Nothing. Is that a trick question? No. So it's okay if the book says hired an administrative assistant. They can ask trick questions. May I ask trick questions? You can. Sure I can. What happened to capital when you made this entry? Okay. Nothing. And if we hadn't done this, we might be doing it right now. But we did this. We increased assets and increased liabilities, and it didn't change capital. Are you with me, Shelby? Are you with me, class? Yes or no? Yes. Here we go. Somebody's hand was up a second ago. Josh, was it yours? When I was in the midst of this, no. somebody? Yes, sir? Yeah, I was just curious why um, it matters whether you put debit first or credit and credit second. And, so I, don't have, I don't have a question. I don't have an answer for every question you ask, but I have <laughs> one for most of them. Okay. And you wouldn't think I would know this, but I do. There is a reason. It's a tradition, first of all. But let's think about how that tradition came about and why that's better, okay? If, I, if, if we do it this way, watch what our eyes can do. If I'm looking back at this later and they're not that way, then I have to look at an amount and look over there to see what I did with it. So my eyes get a workout. I'm having to look over there all the time. But if I do it this way, I, I, if I want to know the amount, I have to look over there. But if I just want to know whether it was debited or credited, I don't have to look over there. I can see that right here. Okay. By it always being debit first, credit indented, I don't have to get my eyes looking so much. It's apparent here without me glancing over there. I think that's why. It's just a long-standing tradition. Anybody else have a question? Let's do another. Here we go. That was the third. Yes? Top of the next page it says, sells a house. Now, remember, we're a real estate agent. We didn't sell our own house. We represented a client. Sold their house and their lot for them and billed that client for realty services provided. I need a volunteer. Talk to me, Von Shea. Um, it would be cash, and it would increase thirty six hundred by debit. Debit cash for thirty six hundred and. And accounts receivable. Debit or accounts receivable or credit accounts receivable. Um. Credit. Credit accounts receivable thirty six hundred. Yes. 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 Did we get money? Vanche, look at the problem and look at the way it was described it, and tell me whether or not we received money. We didn't receive it, but uh, we still get revenue. We have revenue, but we didn't get money, is what you're telling me now. But your entry said debit cash. Do you like your entry? Yes, you like debit cash? Yes. Just a very short moment ago, you said we didn't get money. And now you're still wanting to debit cash. I'm a little confused. We didn't get money, but then a minute ago you said, but we did earn the revenue. Okay, so it would be accounts receivable. Debit or credit? Uh, debit. No, credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We didn't laugh at you. I know, I'm not laughing at you. Somebody over there was. <laughs> um, okay, 
It would be accounts receivable. Debit or credit? Credit. And debit what? Debit would be service revenue. This is a better answer than you gave a minute ago. We have made improvement. Will you stay with me? Yes. What happened to accounts receivable when you credit it? Is it increased or decreased? When you credit accounts receivable, it increases. What is accounts receivable? Asset liability, capital revenue expense. Oh, it's an asset, so debit would increase it. So we wanted the debit accounts receivable or credit accounts debit. receivable? And credit what? Credit the uh, uh, service revenue. A minute ago you said debit service revenue, well, credit I accounts receivable. Now you say debit accounts receivable, credit service revenue. I'm all confused. So am I. <laughs> no, you're not. You've made progress every time. That's the best answer of all. You got to the right answer. The answer is debit accounts receivable, credit service revenue. Let's talk about why. Okay. Vanche, you staying with me here? Yes. What happened to accounts receivable when you debited it? It increased. Because it is an asset liability, capital revenue expense. An asset. Therefore, it goes on the balance sheet or the income statement? Um, it goes on the income statement. We'll talk about it in a minute. What happened to service revenue when you credited it? Service revenue increases. Its normal balance is? Uh, credit. Because it's an asset liability, capital revenue expense. Uh, is the right answer. If I gave you three choices, capital is the right answer. But I gave you five choices. Is service revenue an asset, liability, capital, revenue, or expense? Oh, revenue. It's revenue. Yeah. It's a temporary capital account. Mm -hmm. Now, it's important that you listen to every question I ask and every answer given. Did you realize what just happened here? She gave a wrong answer and got to the right answer because of her understanding. There's a logical progression here. This causes this, that causes this, that causes this. And when you don't progress logically, I move back to the point that I can find something you know and take you forward logically. And she just did an outstanding job of that. Are you with me, Lunche? I think you are too. Let's read it one more time. Bill customers for work that we did. We did the work. It ought to be revenue. Did they pay us? No. no. We billed them. They promised to pay us. And we're recognizing that we received that asset for work that we did. Yes, Von Chang? Yes. Yes, class? Yes. Let's take it one, one step further. I ask you about the financial statements. On which financial statement does accounts receivable go? The income statement. And service revenue goes on the? Balance sheet. Let's talk about it. Which goes on which? Can you say the accounting equation? Assets equals liability plus owner's equity. They all go on the same financial statement. Which one is it? The income statement. They all go on the balance sheet. It's OK. Are you with me right now? Mm -hmm. They all go on the balance sheet. Y'all remember in Monday's lecture I talked about we are going to do financial statements in chapter, or we did financial statements in chapter one, and we're not going to do them again until, until the two weeks after Labor Day? There are no financial statements in chapter two. If I don't bring this up now, if I don't talk about this with y'all now, y'all will forget it all and will forget that you did them in chapter one. We've got to bring them into our recollection, or we'll forget it all. We'll be worse off. Vanche. Revenue and expense go on the income statement. income statement. Accounts receivable goes on the um, balance sheet. Service revenue goes on the service revenue goes on the balance sheet. What is service revenue? Asset liability, capital revenue, expense. Revenue. So it would go on the. <laughs> you should have the privilege of standing here someplace. She is so. Visual, I mean, she, you know, body language communication. When she gets it wrong, she's all this lunch. When she gets it right, man, she's confident. You know, she, she's just perky. 
when she's got the confidence and has, is with me on the right answer. Right, Ron Chad? Yeah. Revenue goes on the? Um, income statement. Good. Real good. My final question? What happened to capital? Um, it increases. What happened to capital, David? No. Um. David. It increased. Shelby. It increased. Shelby. It increased. Von Shea. It increases. It increases. Now, you may try to get me on the technicality here, but revenue is a temporary capital account. Last week, we would have increased assets, increased owner's equity, and written an explanation. Capital increased. Revenue increases capital. Now, we've invented revenue to exist on its own, and it looks like capital doesn't change, but revenue is part of capital. Crediting revenue increases capital. Right, Von Yeah. Somebody's hand was up. Shelby. I don't understand why it's accounts receivable and not cash. Because it says we build them. Sales, house, and lot bills them for realty services provided. We sent them a bill to say, you owe us for this, we haven't collected the cash yet. Did I answer your question? Yeah. It's good to ask. Yes, ma'am. This might be a stupid question, but could it be? Could I say? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, there aren't very many stupid questions. I used to say there are no stupid questions, but I've heard some. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But there, there is a high probability that it's not a stupid question. So I would prefer you not say that. If you have a question, I'd like to hear it, and I'd like the class to hear it, and I'd like an opportunity to answer it. Let's go. Okay. Um, could service revenue be also land, since they're selling land, or is that no, being interpreted? No, properly? land's an asset. So it's land actually owning it. Land belonged to the, to the client. The client had an asset that they sold. We're an observer on the sideline. We didn't own the land. We don't have the land. We didn't touch the land. We didn't buy the land. Land is not part okay, of this. It sense. so happens that we're in the land business. Okay. What we help sell is land. We don't have any land for sale. We just help others get the buyer and the seller together. Okay. Anybody else? Let's do another. 27. Pays $1,100 on the balance related to the transaction of October 3rd. How about glance back at October 3rd with me? Purchased office furniture for $1,900 on account. We bought some furniture on account. Shelby did that one for us. Now we're paying for part of it, and I think Jordan's volunteering. Let's hear it, Jordan. Yeah, it would be um, cash, um, debit. 1100 and then um, accounts payable 1100 credit. Debit cash credit accounts payable 1100. What happened to cash when you debited it? Subtracted. What is cash? Asset, liability, capital, revenue, expense. Asset. What's its normal balance? Debit or credit? Debit. What happened to it when you debited it? If you debit something with a debit balance, what happens to it? Increased or decreased? Decreased. What we learned about the normal balances of the accounts in Monday's lecture was that if we know the normal balance, to increase it, we do the same as its balance. To decrease it, we do the opposite. So let's go through this one more time. You said cash is an asset. You said cash's balance is debit. Do I want to increase it or decrease it from this? Pays $1,100 on the balance up. I paid. Yes, Jordan? Mm -hmm. Do I want to increase cash or decrease it? Increase it. If I paid it out, I don't have as much cash. I want to decrease it. Okay. So it's got a debit balance. How do I decrease it? Debit it or credit it? Credit it. I credit cash. And the reason I'm making this payment is because I promised I would pay them. Mm -hmm. If I pay them something that I promised I would pay them, I don't owe them any longer. I want to decrease accounts payable. Okay. What is accounts payable, Jordan? Is it an asset, liability, capital, revenue, or expense? Liability. Its normal balance is debit or credit? Credit. Credit. What happened to it when we debited it? We increased it or decreased it? 
We decreased it. We decreased it. We decreased the liability. We decreased the assets. What happened to capital? We increased capital. What happened to capital, David? Sorry, I was running. Down. Shelby. <laughs> what happened to capital? Increased capital. David. Nothing. Jordan. Matthew? Increases capital. <laughs> if, if, if you're struggling with that, the best way to figure that out is to do this. I, I don't want you to always have to go back to the accounting equation, but sometimes it's useful. If we oh, read no, this please. transaction, it says pay, made a payment on account. We would have decreased assets and decreased liabilities. What happened to capital? Nothing. Everybody said nothing. nothing. No effect. It's more apparent when you look at it in terms of the accounting equation. Are you with me or not? I, I need to do this last one real fast. We won't always stay over, okay? Do this one for me real fast. Pay the administrative assistant $2,500 in salary for October. Shelby, you seem to be our expert about administrative assistance. No entry? Actually, it isn't. Do you remember this flashback to the beginning of class today? No entry, she said. Oh, it has to do with the administrative assistant. No entry. It's an entry now because it has to do with salary, which is an expense. Make me the entry. Um, okay, it would be expense as a debit. Good. And then um, cash. As a credit. Debit and expense and credit cash. Give me some inkling of what kind of expense it's going to be. Give me a name. Um, remember salary. from the chapter? Anybody remember? Salary. Salary. salary and wages expense is the name in the 10th edition. All these other editions, we've been just saying salaries expense. I didn't change it here. I didn't have space. In your homework, you use the name you're given in the problem. Salary and wages expense. What I discovered in my morning class right about this time was the student I called on, didn't know the normal balance of this, gave me a couple of wrong answers, and I had to dismiss class. This is the most commonly missed one. At some point, soon, maybe as soon as next class, we ought to talk about the normal balance of the expense and how to increase it and decrease it. Are you better off because you came to class today? Yes. Practice. Have a nice day.